The Sing Song of Old Man Kangaroo by Rudyard Kipling Not always was the kangaroo as now we to behold him but a different animal with four short legs he was grey and he was woolly and his pride was inordinate he danced on an outcrop in the middle of australia and he went to the little god na he went to na at 6 before breakfast saying make me different from all other animals by 5 this afternoon up jump na from his seat on the sand flat and shouted go away he was grey and he was woolly and his pride was inordinate he danced on a rock ledge in the middle of australia and he went to the middle god ning he went to ning at 8 after breakfast saying make me different from all other animals make me also wonderfully popular by 5 this afternoon up jump ning from his burrow in the spinifex and shouted go away he was grey and he was woolly and his pride was inordinate he danced on a sandbank in the middle of australia and he went to the big god nong he went to nong at 10 before dinner time saying make me different from all other animals make me popular and wonderfully run after by 5 this afternoon up jump nong from his seat up jump nong from his bath in the salt pan and shouted yes i will nong called dingo yellow dog dingo always hungry dust in the sunshine and showed him kangaroo nong said dingo wake up dingo do you see that gentleman dancing on ash pit he wants to be popular and very truly run after dingo make him so up jump dingo yellow dog dingo and said what that cat rabbit off friend dingo yellow dog dingo always hungry grinning like a coal scuttle ran after kangaroo off went the proud kangaroo on his four little legs like a bunny this oh beloved of mine ends the first part of the tale he ran through the desert he ran through the mountains he ran through the salt pans he ran through the reed beds he ran through the blue gums he ran through the spinifex he ran till his front legs ached he had to still ran dingo yellow dog dingo always hungry grinning like a rat trap never getting nearer never getting farther ran after kangaroo he had to still ran kangaroo old man kangaroo he ran through the tight trees he ran through the mulga he ran through the long grass he ran through the short grass he ran through the tropics of capricorn and cancer he ran till his hind legs ached he had to still ran dingo yellow dog dingo hungrier and hungrier grinning like a horse collar never getting nearer never getting farther and they came to the volgom river now there wasn't any ferry now there wasn't any bridge and there wasn't any ferry boat and kangaroo didn't know how to get over so he stood on his legs and hopped he had to he hopped through the flinders he hopped through the cinders he hopped through the deserts in the middle of australia he hopped like a kangaroo first he hopped 1 yard then he hopped 3 yards then he hopped 5 yards his legs growing stronger his legs growing his legs growing longer he hadn't any time for rest or refreshment and he wanted them very much still ran dingo yellow dog dingo very much bewildered very much hungry and wondering what in the world or out of it made old man kangaroo hop for he hopped like a cricket like a pea in a saucepan or a new rubber ball on a nursery floor he had to he tucked up his front legs he hopped on his hind legs he stuck out his tail for a balance weight behind him and he hopped through the darling downs he had to still ran dingo tired dog dingo hungrier and hungrier very much bewildered and wondering when in the world or out of it would old man kangaroo stop then came nong from his bath in the salt pans and said it's 5 o'clock down said dingo poor dog dingo always hungry dusky in the sunshine hung out his tongue and howled down said kangaroo old man kangaroo stuck out his tail like a milking stool behind him and said thank goodness that's finished then said nong who is always a gentleman why aren't you grateful to yellow dog dingo why don't you thank him for all he has done for you 
Then said kangaroo, tired old kangaroo, he has chased me out of the homes of my childhood. He has chased me out of my regular meal times. He has altered my shape, so I'll never get it back. And he has played old scratch with my legs. Then said Nong, perhaps I am mistaken. But didn't you ask me to make you different from all other animals, as well as to make you very truly sought after? And now it is five o'clock. Yes, said kangaroo, I wish that I hadn't. I thought you would do it by charms and incantations, but this is a practical joke. Joke, said Nong from his bath, bath in the blue gums. Say that again and I'll whistle up Dingo and run your hind legs off. No, said the kangaroo, I must apologize. Legs are legs and you needn't alter them so far as I am concerned. I only meant to explain to your lordliness that I have nothing, I have had nothing to eat since morning and I am very empty indeed. Yes, said Dingo, yellow dog Dingo, I am just in the same situation. I have made him different from all other animals, but what may I have for my tea? Then said Nong from his bath in the salt pan, come and ask me about it tomorrow because I am going to wash. So they were left in the middle of Australia, old man kangaroo and yellow dog Dingo and each said, that's your fault. Thank you very much. I am Dharmendra Shet from Surat.